Hey gang, happy Sunday. Hi Hank. <laughs> okay, so welcome to my maybe new series. You know, I, I feel like a lot of the times my hair does only what it wants and not at all what I want. And well, that's fine, I guess. <laughs> anyway, what I was saying, I feel like, you know, we all make jokes and we all have those thoughts like there are just some people who it seems like they just have more hours in the day than we do, right? Like they're wildly successful, they run multiple businesses, you know, things like that. It just feels like, holy crap, I can barely handle like one job and a dog. How is this person handling an entire family, 17 jobs and like a animal shelter worth of animals, right? You know, and in reality, obviously, those people have the exact same number of hours in the day as we do. And now that they're successful, like, yes, I will always remind people that they also have a team of people helping them accomplish things, whether it's nannies or chefs or assistants, yada, yada. Um, but they also didn't always have that team, right? They, at a certain point, were just on their own and, and tr handling it all and, and fitting a lot of different shit into a, the day. So I feel like there's a million things we can talk about in terms of like time management and productivity and yada yada yada. Uh, but I wanted to kind of zero in on one aspect of it and that's morning routines. Personally, I feel like a good morning routine is important for things like productivity, um, fitting in some self-care, and just generally setting yourself up for success throughout the day. So I thought, why not try some other people's? Maybe I'll realize that mine is shit and I'll find the key to success in one of these morning routines. Unlikely, but maybe. And I'll tell you why I've decided to do this other than just like a genuine interest in like morning routines and maximizing my own productivity. As always, I apologize for the bone chewing noise, but Hank seems to only like to chew bones while I record videos. Can you apologize to the people? What was I saying? Oh yeah, why do I want to do this? I used to, if you've been around for a long time, you will remember that I used to try a lot of different celebrity workouts, whether it was their daily workouts or workouts they used to get ready for a role. I would try them. I would tell you how I felt about them. But anyway, I used to do those videos all the time and um, my personal goals have just kind of shifted a little bit in that I am like taking my sport a little more serious. I'm trying to compete at like multiple high level events. Um, across the year and so sometimes it would get hard for me to fully dive into those celebrity workout videos because I didn't want them to affect my personal training as an athlete which may seem silly but um, that's just how my brain works my point is just that like this year I really want to prioritize my own training and my own nutrition and I don't want that to mean I like half-ass videos for you guys by only you know trying half a workout or you know um, only trying a diet for like a half a day or whatever um, so that it doesn't throw me off too much. So I feel like, long story long, <laughs> Um, I, I just feel like the if I start trying maybe um, other people's morning routines, it still feels like um, relevant, it still feels like it fits on this channel because I think that um, self-care and productivity are important for mental health and of course I've never shied away from um, including mental health in my health and wellness world. and. Um, it also gives, it is still giving us that kind of like peek into the lives of people that we find like aspirational or oddly fascinating, um, the same way the workouts did. So, what better morning routine to kick this off than with Oprah? You get a morning routine, you get a morning routine, you get a morning routine. Oprah is obviously like supremely successful. She's like so wise and just like, just so good at what she does, you know? And so I figured like Oprah must have a killer morning routine, right? Someone is not that successful and that like on top of her shit and not starting her day off on the right foot. So lucky for us, she 
um, gave the Hollywood Reporter an hour by hour breakdown of her day. And um, I'm not gonna go through her a whole day because that's not the point of the video. I'm only gonna go through the morning portion of that. Um, but we've got a really good breakdown to work off of. So let's get to it. Apparently, and part of me is not surprised by this at all, but Oprah doesn't use an alarm. Um, she doesn't like them, she finds them alarming. She said that before she goes to bed, she tells her body a time and her body wakes her up before that. She says she normally wakes up between 6.02 and 6.20. And luckily for me, uh, my body also naturally wakes up around that time. I just usually don't get out of bed, but I usually lay in bed and a lot of times I will fall back asleep for about an hour or so and, and not get out of bed until after seven. But in the name of Oprah, I woke up and actually got out of bed. So at 6.20, normally I would keep sleeping, but I guess I have to get out of bed now. I don't think Hank's gonna be very happy. she does is brush her teeth and walk her dogs and so far my morning routine and Oprah's morning routine are looking very similar <laughs> then at 6 45 a.m. Oprah makes a chai tea or a skim cappuccino um, the first thing I usually do is make coffee so I'm very happy that Oprah also prioritizes her caffeine so I don't really have all of the things you need to make a chai tea or skim cappuccino so we're just gonna go with a classic coffee. And I guess we'll check some emails and get updated on our social media feeds or whatever. And we get to go for a run. So after the coffee, next up is a morning workout. She says she'll normally do 20 minutes on the elliptical and then a 30 minute walk on the treadmill and then some sit-ups. For the sake of time and also because I don't have a home gym, <laughs> I, um, I decided to go on a 20 minute run with a short like cool down walk and then I was gonna come back inside and do some sit-ups. All right, we're gonna go on this run. I really don't want to. I'm gonna do a quick two miles. We'll see how it goes. I will say I don't normally love working out first thing, but when it's just some simple cardio, it is a little bit easier to get going. We're doing it. We're running. Like I don't mind um, that I had breakfast after. I actually prefer that. My body did feel a little stiff on the run. I, normally, personally, I, I wouldn't have run like quite so Quickly, I, I would probably have let my body kind of like loosen up after getting out of bed a little longer. But other than that, you know, I think that getting some cardio done in the morning is um, actually quite nice. I think it's it's just nice knowing that like you moved your body and you got your heart pumping. And so like, even if the rest of the day kind of gets away from you, you've already like done something good for your body and, and like that you've been active and, and um, you don't have to worry about trying to fit in a workout somewhere else if you don't really have time for something more involved later. So I just finished my two miles of running. I forgot how hard running was. Um, a little tough on my legs, but we made it two miles. Took me just over 20 minutes. <laughs> but I'm slow, especially first thing in the morning. Now I'm about a quarter mile away from my house, so I'm gonna walk back. That'll be my cool down, and then we'll go inside and I, we'll do some sit-ups. I'm home. She doesn't say how many sit-ups she does, but I did three sets of 15. Personally, I feel like that's a pretty good go-to set for um, body weight movements or accessory stuff. So that's what I did. Oof. I feel a little loud, 
So now it's about 8 a.m. and Oprah likes to do some meditation, um, usually sitting by a window or out on her balcony. Okay, so I'm sitting down to do my meditation. Um, I have to work this morning, so I don't have a ton of time. Um, so Oprah says when she doesn't have a ton of time, she does 10 to 12 minutes. That's what I'm gonna do. Um, I have the Headspace app because I am very bad at meditating. Um, so hopefully this is going to help me do a little bit better at it. I just seem to be hyper aware of my thoughts um, and like constantly thinking and I cannot shut my brain off and, and meditation is very hard for me. Having something to listen to and, and focus on and kind of like guide me does help me get through it a little bit. And I will admit it was kind of nice to just like kind of have a moment of like calmness and be able to like reset before the day got started. And we've meditated. On to breakfast. After meditation, it's about 8.30 and it is time for breakfast. We've got my whole grain protein pancakes with some peanut butter on top, my turkey sausage, and a glass of water. That's what we're having for breakfast instead of our medium boiled egg and multi-grain toast. But the macro breakdown is gonna be similar um, and gonna have the same effect. It's gonna keep us full, it's gonna keep us satiated, and it's gonna give us a good, Start to the day. And she says as she eats breakfast, she'll kind of go through her schedule for the day and uh, just kind of get a lay in the land. So I'm gonna give this a look over um, while I finish eating, make sure I've got everything that I need for the day ahead. I've got a grasp on what to expect, what's ahead of me, what I've got going on, um, and make sure that I'm prepared. My morning routine, or Oprah's morning routine, is complete. I've gotten dressed, I got ready after breakfast, and now it's time to go to work. Honestly, overall, this morning routine, for being one of someone who is like so famous and like so successful, um, it was actually quite simple. I kind of expected something a little bit more intense, but I was kind of pleasantly surprised at like the calmness of it all. Um, I don't like feeling rushed or like a sense of urgency in the morning or, or like I'm constantly like late doing things. Um, and I feel like she didn't jam pack her morning with too much stuff. Um, and the stuff she did include in her morning was very like, um, you know, she was taking time for herself. You know, she takes 15 minutes to drink her cup of coffee. She does a workout. She does some meditation. Like that's all stuff that you can kind of just like ease into and relax yourself and relax your mind. And um, it doesn't, it's not a hectic morning feeling, you know? Honestly, I think Oprah has a really great morning routine. I know it seemed like simple and not like, it just, it wasn't complicated at all, but I, that's kind of what I love about it. I think the things that she does fit in are are really great things to include in your morning. She's got a healthy breakfast, she does a little bit of self-care, she moves her body a little bit, and she wakes up at like a good time. It's like early enough to be productive, but not so early that you're like losing out on precious sleep hours, you know, or you feel like you're depriving yourself of sleep really. So I really enjoyed it. I liked it. Oddly enough, I mean, Oprah and myself have very similar morning routines, I think. So anyway, I guess like me and Oprah are the same. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, no, but it was good. I enjoyed it. Sometimes we maybe equate success with busyness. You know, it's kind of like this gig economy, like hustle economy. Um, thing that we're all going through right now. And we think the busier you are, the more successful you are, or the more successful you appear. But I think that's actually like really hard on your body and on your mind to um, just constantly feel a sense of urgency. Um, and so that's why I liked her morning routine so much. It really, it had no sense of urgency. And, and um, she, was she was able to like prioritize like her health and her productivity without like trying to fit a million things into a short amount of time. Um, and I think th this is actually a really nice way to start your day. So thanks Oprah for kicking this series off with a beautiful morning routine. If there's any other people's morning routines you want me to try, let me know, I'll give it a go. Hopefully we can find them somewhere on the interwebs. Um, and that's all I got for you this week. So see you next Sunday.